Hi guys, I'm new Korean teacher Katie. I walked my dog and came back with him. His name is Chan. He loves to go out. So I walked my dog four times a day. It makes him happy and it makes me tired. <laughs> It was March 11th yesterday and also my birthday actually so my mother older sister and niece came back to my house and we had lunch together and had a small party and they said 생일 축하해 to me it means happy birthday in English <laughs> 생일 means birthday in English and 축하해 means celebrate 생일 축하해 It's informal way but my niece is only 6 years old and I'm much older than her so she used formal way to me then 생일 축하해요 just put you at the end do you guys eat any particular food on birthday in your country? In Korea, people usually eat miyokguk for breakfast. Miyokguk is a kind of seaweed soup with beef. So I ate miyokguk in the morning. 아침에 미역국 먹었어요. 아침 means the morning. 에 next to 아침 is like in in this sentence so 아침에 means in the morning 먹었다 먹다 is infinitive to means to eat 어t in the middle makes the verb tense past 먹었다 먹었어요 sounds formal so when you talk to people who are older than you then 미역국 먹었어요. 아침에 미역국 먹었어요. If it's your friend's birthday today, then we usually ask, Did you eat 미역국 in the morning? In Korean, 미역국 먹었어? It's informal way to your close friends. When you talk to people who are older than you, then 미역국 먹었어요? Just raise your intonation at the end. It makes the sentence question. 미역국 먹었어? 미역국 먹었어요? So, we learned two sentences today and we usually ask together. 생일 축하해. 미역국 먹었어? 생일 축하해요. 미역국 먹었어요? Today is your birthday? Then, 생일 축하해. See you on the next video. Bye bye. Bye. Say bye.